Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So in my last update video, I told you that uh, I had ordered some taps uh, for uh, some model engineering taps so I can work on the uh, Titch hand pump as a boiler test rig. And, and uh, everything was delayed because of the virus and I decided to put in the two lights uh, on the deck and I said sort of turned into a money pit. So last place uh, I think I left you guys about three weeks ago, I was still doing tear out cabinets and everything else. Uh, well, we've ordered cabinets, and uh, originally they said it would be three to eight weeks. Uh, well, they're saying it's probably going to be around the 10th of August, which is probably closer to nine weeks. So I don't have to rush so much uh, to get my part done. Uh, but but I do have quite a bit done, and I think I'll uh, just pick up the camera here and give you a show around, and and uh, you guys let me know what you think. So I'll be right. Well, let's uh, let's let's take a look. Okay guys, I'm going to apologize for the shaky hand or seasick camera stuff. Let me uh, bring the zoom back out. Okay, so you remember that um, I have uh, my kitchen and dining room are all one sort of one big room. About 12 by 27, all said and done. So here we're looking where the refrigerator and the sink used to be. Okay, so I've cut this drywall back like I said I would uh, so that I can at least sort of stagger the butt joints. I've got all the rough in um, done. Here you'll see this is the uh, water, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, this is the uh, dishwasher and the um, uh, garbage disposal uh, circuit here. What you're seeing here, uh, taped up here, is some speaker wire that will go for some of my low voltage under cabinet wire, uh, uh, lighting so that I can you know, wire up across this window. Uh, here you see I have uh, the water um, stubbed in. I've lowered the drain so it's all ready to go. Um, I've added, uh, I've changed out the boxes and all the receptacles are ready to go uh, in place. And up here you'll see that there's a wire dangling down. I still need to remove it. It's actually on the kitchen light circuit for whatever reason. Uh, they've done that and I don't know but I've run a new home run, and that will be the microwave uh, circuit uh, for the uh, under counter uh, or under cabinet microwave. And then I've added, uh, at my wife's request, I've added some new um, outlets here for where the new counter is going to be. And we'll see up here there's um, wire that will be behind the cabinet so I can bring uh, electricity out for the plug in for the supply for um, the under counter lights. And there's one on the other side too, I didn't show it. And then also just something a little bit different here. You see that white wire hanging out. Um, that's Ethernet. Um, my house, as I've been doing things, I've been um, wiring Ethernet in the house. This way my wife has got Ethernet, uh, one on each side of the kitchen, in case she wants to hook up a laptop or something like that. Uh, I've also uh, laid down 7 16 OSB subfloor. Um, got that all done. Hopefully I don't make you too dizzy. but. I got uh, the kitchen and the dining room portion of that done. And then I want to walk over here around behind the refrigerator. I have um, ran a circuit, dedicated circuit for the refrigerator. And then here I have the water plumbed for the refrigerator. So I'm making progress. I'm ready to, uh, you'll notice that I put uh, insulation. Now this is an interior wall and you don't need insulation, but look, I'm a big fan of sound deadening. And R13 isn't all that expensive, and it's uh, kind of nice to put in the uh, in the wall to to deaden things down. Um, so that's that's why I do that. So um, in the last video, you seen that I actually had an archway framed up here, but you know when I got the drywall on it, I just didn't like it. It uh, the arch seemed a little flat, so I'm going to redo that. And uh, of course, I still haven't uh, got the basement door. So I mean that's kind of where I'm at here. I'll uh, I'll throw some more uh, pictures on. So if you guys got questions let me know. But that's kind of where I'm at. So my wife um, she's been pretty diligent about picking out what she wants. She's got her granite uh, picked out although she's kind of second guessing herself. She might want to look at some more samples since we have time. Uh, she got the cabinets picked out. They're ordered and She's got the uh, paint for the dining room. She has the crown picked out. She has the baseboard picked out. Still working on casing and working on tile backsplash. So, but anyway, that's where we're at. And um, 
you know, just against the, against the clock. Uh, the next thing uh, is get this drywall, get the uh, drywall finished, and and then uh, I'll be ready for cabinets. And then, of course, we're putting in uh, vinyl planking flooring, so it's a uh, you know it's a loose, it's a floating floor, so it goes in after the cabinets. Now, something I do want to point out here: you look up here at the top of the ceiling, you see a big patch right there. That uh, closet was framed. Uh, all the way up so I've had to you know drop a piece of the ceiling out cut the pieces of the ceiling out and patch it right there so now I have this stomp texture that I need to try to match up so that's that's sort of the the biggest um, challenge I think I'm gonna see and I got some other minor repairs to do the ceiling now I've not uh, installed the inset lighting yet I don't know if I'll do that before I drywall or or after I've just not really um, really decided so here you see I still got that uh, fixture hanging down so all right well look uh, this is uh, I rambled on long enough I just kind of want to give you uh, folks an update and if um, stay tuned and uh, there'll be some pictures of slideshow how we got here and if you're interested in this sort of stuff or you find it helpful uh, please consider liking subscribing sharing and other than that have a blessed day